Hello. This is a demo for the Countdown Timer plugin for Resolume Avenue and Arena. With it, you can generate a numerical countdown that will run any speed, style, length of time that you like. You can pause, you can reverse, you can loop the timer, you can choose from different animation types, different fonts. You can even use like an old school movie leader countdown that you'll see from like old movies from the 1920s. Let's go ahead and see how that works. It's really easy to use. Just go ahead and drag your countdown timer swift into your deck, just like any regular movie clip. Drop it in there, select it, and you can see that it starts counting down from 10 seconds. One tick, one, one number every second. Uh, these are the defaults. You can start at 30 seconds, if you like, or 130, whatever you want. Uh, you can adjust the speed of your timer super fast, or you can make it go slow. Let's do it like a regular speed. You can reverse the count. You can pause it. And you can have it loop or not loop. So when it gets down to zero, it just stops. You can also adjust the font size. Bigger, smaller, and adjust the font style. Some different thicker fonts, some weird old timey looking fonts, goofy fonts, some, uh, oh, let's unpause it. Let's speed up a little bit. Uh, you have some sci fi fonts, uh, some basic stuff, whatever you guys want to use. Let's take a look and some of the other plugins we have to offer. Now, along with just having a regular uh, countdown, there's a zoom timer that zooms the font out um, as it's counting. And this is kind of cool for like extra dramatic stuff. This would be like your typical New Year's Eve thing, right? Where it just like everybody's like yelling and it feels like yelling when you look at it, right? Um, all the same parameters apply, the font style, uh, the font size, all that kind of stuff. Um, we also have a time code timer. If you want to show more than just uh, the number of seconds, this gives you hours, minutes, and seconds. Let's zoom back down here. Hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. Now, of course, we can toggle that stuff. Um, we can only show uh, the minutes and the seconds. Uh, you can hide the milliseconds. Right? You can hide whatever you want. Um, like the other loops, it uh, goes by, you can start counting down from the number of seconds. So let's say that you're starting your VJ set uh, five hours before midnight. So five hours, then uh, there's uh, 18,000 seconds in five hours. So let's try that in. Two, three, hit that. And we're counting down from five hours exactly. Um, and as I said, uh, as you get closer to go time, you might want to start hiding stuff or else you'll have a bunch of zeros here that might not be too exciting to look at. So like I said, you can, you can choose to hide the hours or, or milliseconds if you want. One thing I want to bring up is fonts. Um, not all of the font styles you can use are fixed width. Uh, what does that mean? A fixed width font means that all the spacing for every single character is exactly the same. But that doesn't always uh, look nice uh, because you have uh, situations where like a one will be bigger than say an eight. So with this kind of countdown stuff, fonts that aren't fixed width, you can see they'll be like moving back and forth sometimes. And it just this is just a aesthetic decision you can make. Uh, you can choose to use this or not. Um, it's really it's really your call. Uh, I included these in here uh, so you can have more control over what you're trying to do. Uh, now, why would you want to use a font like this? Because um, it looks weird to have it shaking. Well, if you're going for an old school look, for instance, let's say you want to put some film grain on here, right? Or make it look a little more old timey. Um, I happen to have that here. Um, if I'm showing like some uh, newsreel type of effects on here, all of a sudden this looks kind of cool. This looks appropriate, right? Because you have uh, all kinds of like frame rate stuff going on. Uh, speaking of old-timey stuff, 
Um, I want to show you one of my uh, favorite... Oh, hold on. One thing I want to show you is the computer clock timer. Now, with these timers, you can adjust the speed. All right, you can make it go super, super fast. Let's hide the milliseconds. See how fast those seconds are going? Or you can make it go very slow. Now, one thing that will happen, of course, is that you guys might have some performance issues, right? Uh, you might be playing uh, a whole bunch of clips, and you might have some uh, frame rate issues. Now, that will cause problems with these plugins because they'll get out of sync, right? Well, I have you covered. With a computer clock timer, it ties the countdown to your computer clock, counting down from counting down to midnight. So no matter what day it is, this timer will count down to uh, midnight. So obviously it's uh, almost 10 o'clock my time. And what's nice about this is even if you're having frame rate issues, it will still sync. As long as it can talk to your computer, it will still sync to your computer clock. And of course you can hide your milliseconds, you can hide your hours, uh, etc, etc. So this is a really nice solution. Um, if you want to be 100% sure that you're syncing up to stuff. Um, anyway, so one thing I want to show you is the, the last thing is my favorite effect is the uh, movie timer plugin. And what it does is it emulates one of those old school uh, movie countdown timers. Same parameters apply. You can do, let's say you can count down from 30 seconds. You can pause it. I kind of like running a little bit slow. It just kind of feels fun to me. You know what I mean? Um, or a little bit faster. Uh, it has all the other standard parameters. It has an extra parameter you can adjust. Uh, you can choose to show grain. Um, and if you look, there's like a little bit of noise here. You can hide it if you want something clean. Um, I like to have grain, but then I like to add my own. So you can do stuff like this. You can go ahead and um, use this is the uh, some some newsreel footage I have and then you add some color to it now all of a sudden we can ha kind of have uh, a pretty cool uh, some pretty cool effects going on here um, your imagination is your only limit anyway thank you very much